this is Justine Calderwood, physical therapist here at the Healing Spot Physical Therapy. And today I wanna to show you a technique on how to release abdominal scar, um, abdominal scars. So I'm talking about, uh, I'm gonna show you a release for a C-section scar, but this can also be applied to other uh, abdominal scars along the lower abdomen or even um, up into the kind of the rib cage. So, and even across like into the, um, into the abdomen along the belly button, okay? So first I wanna to talk to you just a little bit about um, an essential oil. So I'm kind of pairing the techniques that I'm doing this month with an essential oil that I uh, recommend. I love using lavender. It's very good for supporting um, skin healing. And I actually used it on my own scar, not on my uh, abdomen, but I had a uh, spot of skin cancer removed about a year ago. And I started applying within, after the, um, after the incision closed up, I started to apply uh, lavender and you can't even, I don't even know if you can see my scar. It's about that big. Um, anyway, so I uh, love Young Living. That's the brand that I use with my patients as well as um, for myself and my family. So they have therapeutic grade essential oils. So lavender can be applied after the incision has closed up. Um, and you can definitely check with your surgeon on that as well. So I'm gonna show you um, specifically a C-section scar release. So this is gonna be a self-treatment technique on how you can do this for yourself, okay? Um, so I'm gonna have you just lie down and on your back, face up. And what you're gonna do is um, basically you just wanna find your scar. So I'm gonna, I don't have a C-section scar, but I'm gonna act like I do. So I like to kind of play piano in, in a way of like, you're gonna feel the scar and you're gonna place your finger pads or your fingertips just along the length of the scar, okay? So you're gonna go down and typically they're just above the pubic bone. So you're gonna find the scar and then you're going to just feel, um, and you're just gonna let your fingers start to sink down into that um, soft tissue, into the scar, but without forcing, okay? And what I like to do first is just kind of check um, the mobility of this scar. So you can kind of lift up just a little bit to feel how well does it lift up towards your head, how well can you push it down towards your pubic bone, and on either side. So you can check, you know, how does the right side of the scar feel versus the left side, okay? And that can start to give you clues as to what part of your scar needs a little more attention. If you find any areas as you're feeling along it, if you feel any areas that feel like hypersensitive, so when you feel your scar, it really should feel like any other part of your skin, right? It should feel like you, you can feel the pressure, you should feel the fine um, kind of feel of it, but it shouldn't be painful. So if you find those like trigger point areas, those are areas that are calling for your attention as well, okay? So you wanna focus on that. So what you're gonna do is just find the scar, again, you can check the mobility, and then when you find an area you want to treat, and it might be the whole area for you, okay? So you're just gonna let your fingers sink down into that soft tissue without forcing. Kind of like you're inviting, see how far your body invites your fingertips in. Okay. So when we do a mild fascia release, which is what I'm guiding you through, we want to, um, we just wanna wait at the barrier. We're not forcing our way in. It takes the first 90 seconds to two minutes for the body to start to respond to the pressure you're putting into it. So you're gonna wait, hold. Then as your body starts to soften, you wanna give your body permission to lead your fingers where they need to go. Whether that be deeper down, you might, without sliding on the surface of your skin, you might notice that your body is drawing your finger pads to the right or the left, or that your body wants your finger pads to come up towards your head or down towards your feet. So you do a lot of listening with this. The body's very, very wise, it knows what it needs, if you're willing to listen. So for me, I feel a lot of, even though I don't have a scar here, I'm still releasing underneath uh, where I'm at are your intestines, okay, underneath that. You're a woman, you know, your reproductive system, um, so ovaries, okay, uterus isn't too far away, bladder isn't too far away. So why do I talk about this being able to relieve back pain? Well, scar tissue can uh, start to wrap around structures and start to uh, create a lot of pressure and pull in the body um, underneath where it actually is. Even the tiniest of, of scars can cause um, issues in the body that seem unrelated, okay? I do wanna make a note. If you have a recent 
C-section scar or a recent scar, you want to wait for six to eight weeks to do any to do this. You want to allow those tissues to heal before you release them. Okay. Again, you can check with your surgeon on that, but um, but I would recommend waiting six to eight weeks. You don't want to do this on a fresh uh, scar. Okay, a fresh inc incision. Okay, and then what I want you to do is just feel, kind of expand your awareness. Where else are you feeling this in the body? Maybe you're feeling it down into your legs or up into your head. So you want to hold a minimum of three minutes because remember it takes the first two minutes to start to respond and your body start to soften and release. You want to hold three to five minutes or longer. You can't over release the fascia. So even if you hold longer than five minutes, if you're really listening, you're not going to over release these, this tissue. Okay. So I'm going to stop there. I don't know exactly how long I did hold. Um, but you, uh, you kind of get the idea there. So um, all you're doing is sinking down and then um, letting your body lead, lead you into um, either deeper or into different um, areas of your body. Okay, so that's kind of in a nutshell how to um, do a self technique to release scar tissue so we're not uh, forcing anything. Uh, leave me comments below if you have any questions or need for, further guidance, okay? Thanks for watching.